Hi, it's Carmi Weininger. Welcome to the Science Behind the Saddle series of videos that take you in depth to each component of our modular saddle system. Watch them all to find out how every piece works and can be customized to give you a remarkable and shock absorbing ride. If you'd like to stay informed, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the EQ Saddle Science YouTube channel. Let's talk about how important the saddle is as an element of the stability discussion. It's something we all have as a goal. We want to be stable when we're in the saddle, and when we're not, we've been taught to think that we have to develop better skills or get a horse that's easier to sit on. I thought these two pieces were the whole story for a lot of years because nobody around me identified saddles the way they really ought to be discussed, which is as the horse rider interface or as part of a rider's toolkit to create a better outcome. It's a fact that our saddle creates a more stable rider than conventional saddles. We noticed this effect for years before it was verified in Hillary Clayton's 2018 scientific study of our system that compared our saddle to a number of custom fitted top brands on upper level dressage horses. What does our saddle do that creates stability for riders? And why is stability important? Beyond the obvious that a stable rider looks and functions better, let's give the horse some consideration. A 2009 study at the University of Veterinary Medicine in Vienna concluded that a more stable rider puts less stress on the horse. And that makes total sense. The horse can balance more easily with less strain under a more stable load. Okay, so stability is good. Now, how do we get there? The responsibility for being stable usually gets put on the rider and the saddle is rarely blamed. Yet the research that we took part in shows the unquestionable effect of our saddle design on rider stability. We were aware going into Dr. Clayton's study that we had a saddle that helped riders sit better and horses go better. We could see it and feel it, and the riders in our saddle talked about it, but it took the computerized testing to isolate the effect. And here's what we learned. For the saddle to improve the rider's stability, it has to allow the rider's hips to flex and extend, and it needs to allow the horse to be able to move freely underneath the saddle without displacing the saddle from side to side. Because we have pretty thoroughly covered the rider's hip flexibility in another video, let's look at what happens to most saddles on most horses to cause rider instability. The horse's movement that affects the saddle the most comes from the rotation of the shoulders which roll backwards when the front legs extend. The shoulder needs the most room when the foreleg is maximally extended, which is why shoulder freedom is so essential for creating longer strides. If the shoulders aren't free to move under the saddle, then the horse will bump the saddle every time the shoulders rotate, and that pushes the saddle diagonally and causes the rider to shift their lateral balance. Even if it's a subtle shift, each time the rider's balance moves from side to side, it causes the horse to work harder. And by contrast, our Equiflex panels under our saddles and the shock absorbers that attach them give way for the shoulders, making it easier for the horse to move while the rider remains stable. You've been watching the effect of our system on a horse rider combination who were filmed in their usual saddle and then in their very first ride in our flapless system. Our saddle was studied using the Novell Pliance pressure sensing mat that's been validated for scientific research. The mat was placed on all the test horses under their own saddle and under our saddle in a randomized order. And one of the elements that this computerized sensor pad measures is the rider's center of pressure, both from the perspective of front to back and side to side. When the test was over and Dr. Clayton's testing team evaluated the results, they noticed immediately that the rider's center of pressure was more stable in our saddle, and this was especially true in extended trot and extended canter. So we're going to show you data in the form of two videos that represent the rider's center of pressure with the video on the left showing the rider in her own saddle, the video on the right showing the rider in our flapless saddle. 
and the center of pressure is the moving dot, which you can see changes as the rider's center of pressure moves or changes from stride to stride. The data was gathered as the rider sat the trot, an extended trot, down the long side of a dressage court. And you can follow the moving line to see how the rider's center of pressure was changing down that long side with every stride. Less motion of the center of pressure indicates rider stability. And as you can see in this example from our study, the small and tight pattern in our EQ saddle shows the rider has superior stability. When a rider tries our saddle, good things happen. For many, the EQ effect is instantaneous and stability is just one of the benefits. Our video series goes into detail about the design of our saddle and all the modular components that we combine to make sure that every saddle we fit is a custom fit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll check out the rest of our Science Behind the Saddle series. We welcome you to follow us, subscribe, all the usual ways will find us. And if you'd like to get going with a saddle trial of your own, reach out to us through our website at saddlescience.com. Thank you.